Hello, welcome back. And today I will be taking you through a basic workflow of how to create an elevated water tank in Comosis. If you take a look on the screen here, you can see a simple structure of an elevated water tank. And this is just to show you uh, what we expect at the final end of our workflow. So the, the height of the structure has been broken down into different levels. If I double click in uh, on my on my grid line here, you can see all the levels we have here. We have from zero to all, all the way to six, and though all those that have been defined by an interval of three, three meters up to 15, then uh, addition of 600 on, on top of that. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get rid of everything here, except the grid line. So I've selected everything and I'm going to delete that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click yes, but what you are going to remain with here is just the grid line. Grid line just is the setting out as you normally do on uh, on the site. You set out to you set out uh, the size of your structure or defining the uh, the actual length and uh, and width of that particular structure uh, as defined on on the, on the on the drawing. So we have our, our grid line here. So we have four points here: one, two, three, four. This. Uh, uh, at the location at the actual locations of, of the columns and this one here the mid here will be uh, will be the position of our uh, cage ladder so let's get started right away if uh, if I come here if I come here and come to steel and come to column here so first of all let's define or uh, uh, choose the appropriate column that we intend to use as the main columns here. So if I just clicked on the column there, I'll just snap inside here. So the moment I click on that, I'll be able to double click on this column here just to check on the size of the properties of this particular column. At this particular case, the height, the default height is five meters from zero zero level. And uh, the profile of this particular steel, this is HEA, HEA 300, but you don't intend to use a particular profile. So I'll go ahead and click on this uh, symbol there that defined that will take us straight to the profile catalog. So from here, I'll be able to choose the, the appropriate uh, catalog that I intend to use. Uh, in, in most cases, I normally use the IPE. So in our case, I'm going to use, I'm going to pick IPE 300. So I'll scroll down until I bump into IPE. So if, if I pick, if I uh, uh, click on that IPE, I'll scroll down under IPE and pick the IP 300 right there. So once I've done, so I'll go ahead and click select. And uh, the moment I click on select, you'll be able to see uh, uh, the the profile has been picked into the uh, picked up by this uh, uh, dialog box where we have all the properties of that particular column. So I'll go ahead and click. I can uh, I can also for the for the time being set this as the default uh, default. So I'll go ahead and click set as, def as default and click OK and apply and give it an OK and give it an OK there. The reason why I'm saying so is because. And, uh, I'm going to use the same profile on both uh, on the four points. So I'm going to just to uh, place them here. But our columns have been broken down into two levels, into two different heights, uh, eight meter and seven meter. So I'll double click once again and change this height to eight meters. I change that to eight meters and click OK. Uh, it's default and click yes and give it an OK and give it an OK right there. So I'll select on that, then come to copy. Or I can just right click and come and use different and I'll come to copy right there. And copy, I copy, uh, I mean, copy special and pick on linear. And I want to snap on that spot and snap here. So we have that in place. If I click copy, we have that member in place. So I'm going to close that and select everything here. Right click and come to special copy here and pick on linear. And I want to copy the two to the to this far end here. At, at 3.5 meters. So if I click copy, I'll have both of them on that location. So if I zoom out, I'll be able to have my columns in place. So I'd, I had showed you pre previously that uh, our our, ele our elevated tank has been broken down in different in, into different levels. So if I double click on this grid line, you'll be able to see everything we have in place. You can see we have uh, the first level is three meters. Uh, 
the second one is six and uh, this is nine and that is 12. Reason why at this level we have some horizontal bracings that we place so that uh, the reason uh, is the reason why I've created those levels so that we'll be able to place the horizontal bracings without any uh, 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 confusion or we'll make it, uh, our placement very straightforward. So let me just close that and come here, then come back to column. Then I'll just snap on top here, right there, and by by default because I had defined the length and the profile of this particular member to be a default. So the default the default will retain all the, the measurement that I had, I had entered here. So let me just double click just to show you that. You can see the default profile is in place, but uh, the, the, the height has not been retained. We can just go ahead and change that to seven and uh, click OK. So again, I'll just right click and come to copy. And this time around, I'll just pick right from the node here and place it to the, that node and uh, uh, snap there and place another one right there. So we have this in place. So the next thing here, you can see if I come on, uh, if I double click here, you can see um, uh, that's a wrong entry. If I double click right there, you can see I have, all the, uh, I have my level from uh, three, to maybe 15, the eight plus 15, and we have the extra. This extra will be added, will be increased by, by, by the positions of our uh, pro, uh, of our beams that will be sitting, that will be creating a platform where the water tank will be uh, placed. So let me just close that, and we'll go straight to uh, column, uh, to base plate. So if I come to base plate here, and pick on that base plate, and if I snap on that end, you'll be able to see uh, a, a base plate has been created, but uh, this type, this uh, type of base plate, this was not, this is not the best for this. So I just uh, select on it, then press letter M on my keyboard and enter on there, and, and press enter on my keyboard. So that will bring uh, uh, a dialog box that will enable us edit this particular uh, setting or base plate. So I just click on my presets here. I do have my presets in place so that I don't. Uh, it take a lot of time in creating such uh, um, such structures. So I'll come to IPE plate without any stiffener. I'll click on that and click load. So I'll come here and click apply and give it an OK. So I have my base plate in place. So I'll go ahead and uh, select everything here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to clone these to the rest of the, the base of the remaining columns. So I'll come to Intel clone and click clone all. So if I click on clone all, you can be able to see there are seven unconnected joints. So this seems that it has picked uh, other parts that might not need the base split. So we might not do that, or we can go ahead and click proceed and see the locations of those uh, places. You can see it has picked even the joints, and this is on the appropriate joint where we uh, uh, the connection uh, type that we intend to place here. So we'll go ahead and click and do that. So the next thing we'll do, we can go ahead and start uh, either uh, create the splices here or we, we, we begin with the placement of our base plate. So what I'm going to do, let me just go ahead with the base plate and just select on that, select on that, select on that. So I'll just go ahead and uh, correct on that. Press let select any part of that base plate setting and press uh, enter. This will bring the dialog box that will enable you create the, the right setting on that. So I'll come to my macro, uh, macro presets and load my preset uh, connection. Then I'll go ahead and click load and give it an apply and I give it an OK. Same I'll do here, select on that, then press letter M on the keyboard, on, on your keyboard and press enter. So once you've done so, this the, that will bring the dialog, dialog box editor that will help you to uh, uh, put the appropriate setting for uh, your customized uh, base plate. So I'll come to macro presets there, click on that drop down uh, arrow, then load your setting, then click on that, apply and give it an OK. Same will apply here. So if I click on that, I'll press letter M on the keyboard and uh, give, it some, give it some time to load, then I'll uh, click on that and load my settings and give it an OK and apply that. And that's it. So 
The naming part is this, the splice and placement of the secondary beams on top here. And let's meet on the next uh, step where we'll be creating the splice and creating the platform here. Thanks and let's meet on the next uh, session. Thank you.